Hi everybody, this is Diana Bewaros. I just wanted to come live with you and say thank you to everybody who joined me. So for uh, all the new friends who added to my Facebook, for your love, for your understanding, for uh, following my um, posts, for sharing them, and for helping me, uh, for helping me send my uh, message to the world. And of course, my message to the world is this: be love. Be compassionate, be kind. Don't try to fit people in your box. Don't try to tell them who to be. It doesn't matter what is your religion. The most important thing is who you are as a person. And um, I feel that everybody has the right to be who they wanna be. And everybody has the right to believe in what they wanna believe. And I wanna talk about today about age. Do you remember Susan Boyle, uh, her song and how magical was her voice? And um, I feel that everybody, no matter what age they are, have the right to be who they never found time to be. Because some people actually um, don't know who they are because of so many reasons in her case was she was supposed to take care for her mother and uh, when her mother died actually she decided to follow the path she always dreamed of so it's the same thing with everybody don't pay attention to anybody who tell you that you're 50 60 even 70 years old you have the right to be who you wanted to be all your life Everybody has a dream, everybody has a goal, and for some reason they postponed this goal and dream for um, later. Because they have things to do, they probably have uh, other people in their life, they feel like they ha have responsibility uh, for them and to do different things. So uh, age is just a number. You can do whatever you want to do at any age. You can become a singer when you are 70 years old. You can um, become a painter when you are 70 years old. You can become an author and publish the best-selling book, the, the most unique, wonderful book the world have never seen when you are 70, 80. So life actually stops, life ends when you die. This is the end, and this is the end of trying. This is the end of um, your dreams and goals. So this is my advice to you. Don't pay attention to anybody. Stay away from people who tell you uh, to um, stop dreaming and start going to work, 18, uh, working eight to five. Uh, stay away from these individuals. Some people do this because uh, they, um, they don't have dreams, they don't have hopes, or uh, they are surrounded by a crowd of people who are actually have the, the, um, the only goal in their life is to, um, turn, uh, to make people feel miserable. That's how they feed from each other. Some people also, use alcohol, use drugs, use all kinds of uh, toxic ways to escape the reality, to be lazy, to never go after their dreams and hopes. All, although they have dream, they have a goal and they have purpose on this earth and they're too lazy and too irresponsible to go after it. So stay away from this individual individuals love everybody the way they are give them hope give them love give them encouragement this makes you a loving person and at the same time creates a happy life and healthy life for you and gives you so much by encouraging others others supporting others and showing love Never forget that no matter what kind of a religion you belong to, you're the same as the other people who have different religion than yours. 
And I'm going to give you an example and question to think about it. When you were born and when you were a baby, did you have a religion? No. So when you were born, actually, you were born with love inside, with so much love, and you were made with love. So this, think about it, that the most important thing you should be guided with is love. Nothing else matters. So practice love for animals, plants, planet, and help others, support others. And again and again, age is just a number. Don't, um, uh, don't get involved with people who are negative, who um, have dark side and they, can, they like to stay in the dark people who use drugs, people who use alcohol, people who use religion to hurt others, stay away from these individuals. Um, if, you f if you get involved in a church with negative people and people who have addiction problems um, and the pastor or the preacher of the church teaches them to hurt others, to hate others, to um, go and steal from their homes, to go and do damage in their life, to stay online and slander them and causing pain. Leave this place right away. This is not a church for you. This individual has agenda behind it. And I'm sharing this because this happened in my life. There are some people, really bad people, who proclaim they are preachers and pastors and they use sick people who have addiction problems to steal, to lie, to um, bully people, to go on wine and slander and cyber bullying people and to hate people, to take their stuff away. You have no idea what's going on using religion. So this is something to think about it today as well. So thank you so much for being part of my life. You have no idea how much you mean to me. And I have a free ebook based on my life because I was once the person who was lost, who was taking care for everybody, who didn't know why I was different than others, why I don't have anything in common with friends, with even family with people who are coming into my life. And it took me a long time before I understood that I'm different than, than them. And I need to find the right people, the positive people, the loving people, the artists, the writers, the authors, the, the people who I belong to. And the reason I was feeling so miserable is because I never found time to ask myself why I feel that way. What is missing in my life? There is something wrong. I never found time for myself. I never found time to ask these questions. So please don't be this person. If you are facing this situation, sit alone somewhere and start asking these questions. The question I just told you about. So this is really pivotal because again and again there is only one life and it's okay to love yourself and loving yourself actually helps you in the life in building a future for yourself even a building a healthy family healthy friendships and being happy in this life and bringing positive energy and positive people in your life so make sure you are following the path meant to be yours and surrounding yourself with people who are constantly positive, who are constantly successful, who are constantly moving further in their life, who are happy, who have smile on their faces are really imperative for your well-being, mental and physical. So keep in mind, if you see somebody in your life who is this happy, successful person, instead of envy them, jealous them, and try to destroy their life, try 
to uh, find out how they got there, what they did, why they're always happy, why they're having the life they always wanted, why they're having these amazing, amazing people in their life ask them a question, let them be your example and try to be like them by being the same kind of a person because negativity, jealousy, envy, all these feelings are toxic for you. Bringing people down, it's not gonna make your life happier, it's not gonna make you be um, proud of yourself but going and asking people how they got there is gonna make your life completely different and having these people in your life is going to help you move forward and they're gonna help you find the path meant to be yours so um, go to my website dianabelros.com download my free ebook the journey of transformation and if you want to get in touch with me you can do it by pushing contact button and i have free one hour consultation for you and um there is something else if somebody has a degree in um psychology degree in counseling it doesn't mean they know what you're doing it doesn't mean anything because the best teachers come from life. The best teachers have been traveling the, the uh, road you are traveling and they know how to cope in a real life with all the obstacles, with all the turbulence, with everything what's going on in life. They're the ones who can connect to you because without traveling in, um, life without having life experiences you won't be able to connect to anybody this comes to uh, coaches um, who are counseling domestic violence victims coaches who are um, coaching people who doesn't believe in themselves coaches who are trying to help uh, people who have low self-esteem Coaches who are helping people who feel lost in their life. The best teachers, remember, come from life. Piece of paper doesn't make a person a great counselor, a great teacher, or um, somebody who can help you with the obstacles you're facing right now. You need to go through these obstacles to be able to help others. So thank you so much for being with me. I'm so honored to have you again in my life. You have no idea how happy I am. And religion doesn't make people good people. Your actions do. Love people, show them kindness, offer them your hand if they're suffering or if they're facing something they cannot cope by themselves show them you're there for them so this is my advice until next time i'm hoping to be next tuesday i wish everybody love and light because love is the only guide you should follow in this life